What's going on, everybody? Tim from Tearphone Orbital. One of these days, I'm going to have a very interesting and like uh, attention grabbing intro to my videos. I feel like it's very repetitive. Uh, but anyhow, I would like to take a liberty today and talk about a personal hilt. This is one of my hilts. Uh, this is the uh, OWK TPM from Corbanth. Shadow Foil designed this hilt, I believe. They did it in conjunction, uh, but it can be purchased on Corbanth's website. I took advantage of Corbanth's May 4th sale to get this hilt. Now, I, I've said this before, I, I've never really been a huge fan of the prequel hilts. Um, but that being said, every time I get one of these hilts in my hand, I really fall in love with it. So it, it started with the Tuscan Slayer uh, from SP Sabres. A client sent me his for an install, and while I had it, I really, really fell in love with the hilt. I fell in love with the feel. I felt in fell in love with the weight. It's just a really, really fantastic hilt. I did a swap or an upgrade of a POC store OWK or, or OWP a couple of months ago, and I fell in love with that hilt. I love the way, again, I love the way it felt in my hand. Uh, so these prequel hilts are growing on me. Before you know it, I'll have, probably have a skinny flex or, or something like that, or maybe Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon's hilt, I've never really been a fan of, but I've, I've said that before, so, so who knows? So I wanted to get my own uh, OB hilt from episode one. And again, like I said, I wanted to take advantage of Corbanth's sale. So I purchased this from Corbanth Empty, uh, and then went about designing a chassis for it. And I'm really, really happy with the result. This has now become my new daily driver. Uh, I've put the uh, my Koran, uh, my speeder hilt back up on the shelf. And this is my, my go-to hilt. I love this hilt. So without further ado, I do want to talk about the chassis. And then we'll do a quick demo. And we'll be on our way, right? So let's come into Fusion. Here is the chassis that I did for this hilt. So this is a full removable setup. Okay, I did, uh, because of space, right, I did a kicked profi in this one. So this is like uh, kicked at a 70 degree, 70 degree angle. It slides into this tray. I do have room for a kill switch in here. Now, this is the first time I've done like a side firing kill switch, uh, and I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I'm still curious as to where we will stand with profi v3 and kill switches. I really, really appreciate that we've got a new or better sleep mode on the Profi V3s. I haven't done enough research to know whether or not it's reliable enough to not even to forego a kill switch, which would be cool, right? I like having a kill switch for peace of mind, uh, but with Profi V3, we might not need it anymore, okay? Uh, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> uh, I'm still waiting to hear... To, waiting to hear what the professionals say, right? So I've got Greeblies along each side of the chassis. Coming down the middle here, I do have a hole for wire management. I utilize these filter tubes that I did, these Greebly filter tubes for some wire management. This is a speaker pod setup. So what I really appreciate about this particular hilt as well is that there's plenty of room for a 28 millimeter speaker in the pommel. I didn't want a 24 in this guy. Uh, it does, there is a, a thin inner diameter on the grip. So I wanted to make sure I could get a 28 in here. So we went with the speaker pod. This uh, section is where the speaker lives. I've got a cap here. Uh, that glues into place. Once the speaker is wired up, I used a, uh, two conductor speaker PCB from Smuggler's Outpost. I really, really love these speaker PCBs because uh, designing chassis for them is pretty straightforward. They're two of the same uh, diameter on both sides. So designing for them is really, really handy. The other, the pin side of that speaker PCB uh, lives in here. And I just did some random embossing on the cap. Once I have that wired up, that cap is then glued in place as well. So up top, we've got a six rail PCB, and this is what makes a connection to the upper chassis. This is where the pin side PCB rests, and I've got two channels for switches. So another thing with this particular hilt, the brass switch that is on this 
um, has a gem inside of it. I wanted to light that. It might not specifically be film accurate, uh, but I wanted that to be lit. The way I achieved that is using a switch PCB from stock custom works. So that sits in here. It has two Neo pixels and a single tactile switch all on board. Around the other side, I've got like a six by six red, red tactile switch. This is for the main. Uh, but yeah, I really wanted to, to light that brass switch. And this is how I did it. Pretty, pretty easy setup. And up top, we've got our PCB, lit PCB emitter. Of course, this being a shadow foil hilt, I used Sam's new PCB emitters. They're absolutely phenomenal, super bright. Really love, uh, love that he's got his own version of those coming out. So anyhow, let's come up top and talk about the hilt, okay? So I've got two prequel hilts here. This is that Tuscan Slayer I was talking about. So uh, those of you who know, uh, when I did the install for this particular client, uh, unfortunately the hilt was damaged. So I got to keep the damaged hilt and I <laughs> proceeded to damage it even further. So I'm going for like a battle scarred look, uh, almost like something a la Ray's broken uh, Graflex on this. Uh, I'm not quite finished with this yet. Uh, I'll get to the install uh, hopefully someday, but yeah, this was the first prequel hilt that I actually liked, right? And here's the second. So this is the OWK TPM from Corbanth and Shadow Foil. So when you get this hilt, it is polished aluminum, uh, which looks great. Uh, I prefer a brushed OB hilt. I prefer brushed hilts, basically. I, I don't like uh, fingerprint magnets. Uh, I prefer when hilts are brushed and they look a lot better in my opinion. So I brushed this myself or I weathered the aluminum and brushed it uh, just to give it a more dull finish, okay? Here is that brass switch that I was talking about. There is a gem in here that is lit from underneath and this is my main. Really, really love this hilt. It's phenomenal, right? So let's talk about how to use this guy. Here is that speaker pod. So another really cool feature that I appreciated about this hilt, this speaker is further module, modular in that the bottom part does unscrew as well. So this is where I've got my 28 millimeter speaker and then that nipple comes up into the chassis, okay? So here is the chassis, okay? I kept this just regular matte black. I didn't get crazy with rub and buff on this one. I wanted it to stay black. Here's our speaker pins on the bottom. Battery tray is here, kill switch. Another thing I appreciated about Profi V3, like right now, since I don't have a speaker in this, I can't tell when it is on, but the new Profis have a status light in them. So nice and simple, right? So I put my chassis in, screw my pommel on, and there is that, let me see if you can see it here, there is that lit brass switch. Shadow foil PCB. Of course, this, like I said, be, this being a shadow foil hilt, I wanted to get, let's come down to the bottom. I wanted to get uh, Sam's new lit PCB emitters in this. Great, nice and bright. I really like this hilt. So, I've got different animations on that uh, lit uh, switch PCB for each hilt, or for each font. Let's see what else we got here. Meet Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, I really like this hilt. So let's put a blade in it really quick. Okay, so pretty straightforward. We've got a one inch blade holder here. Another thing I appreciate about this hilt, there are set screws all along the top of this emitter. There's three of them. So you get your blade really, really nicely secured. So see, there's three of them or two of them? Two of them. Anyhow, here we go. I love the way this, fil this hilt feels. OK, 
Okay. Let's see what else we got. Obi Wan Kenobi. I put mostly Obi Wan fonts on here for reasons. Got into blade mode or battle mode there. Really, really dig this. I felt a great disturbance in the force. You must learn the ways of the force. One more. General Kenobi. One more. I sense an unusual amount of fear for something as trivial as this trade dispute. I like this hill. <laughs> I say that about every single hill. I know. It's probably getting old. So anyhow, I just wanted to talk about my personal hilt really quick. Uh, there were some people asking about the how I achieved that lit uh, ox, ox switch in that brass gem. So just wanted to talk about it a little bit, show it off, and that's it. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to listen to me talk about my lightsaber. <laughs> uh, to everybody watching, again, like thank you for the support. I really, really appreciate it. If, if anyone has any questions, please don't be a stranger. And with that being said, may the force be with you always. Thanks for watching, everybody.